I hope the audio is okay on just the camera. I haven't tested this yet, so hopefully it works out and it's not horrible. I don't have, I do have a Rode mic that I can strap to it that will plug into it, and I may have to get that out for, for this to be better. But I bought a camera because I want to upgrade the quality of my videos, and my phone, if the video gets to be over... You know, I, I can't even download it in HD if it's just too long of a video because it takes way too long. Sorry if this is bouncing around a little bit because I don't have a stand for it. It's just uh, the Canon M50 camera. So um, I wanted to talk about core, core leadership. And there's basically, I'm going to break this down into four sections. And the first section we're going to talk about today um, the next will be over the next um, three three videos that I do. But today, let's talk about core connections. And what I'm talking about with core connections is what type of connection do you have with your team as a leader, as a manager, as as a uh, as somebody even on your the installation team or in your service team. You you want to you know stand above. The rest of your coworkers, so you can earn more money and get recognized in your company. You you yourself have to de to develop a connection with your team. It's just highly important. We need to know as leaders what these people are fighting for. What these people that are close to you, what are they fighting for? And you need to also share what you're fighting for. That way you can connect and have have a bond that, hey, we're on the same team, let's do this, let's get this done. But, uh, you know, a way to do that is to talk about the future, for one thing. I've talked about how important future thinking is versus um, short-term thinking, you know. We have to think long-term in order to achieve any goal. But... You want to ask good questions to your coworkers, to the to the people that you want to lead, and some of those questions could be: Where do you see yourself in three years? Where do you see yourself in five years? And also, what are some of the shorter-term goals? Like, what's what's your 90-day goal? So, for instance, if we gave an example of, um, you know, Bob's 90-day goal is to save $500. Just throwing that out there, just a random goal. Okay, well, how are you going to do that? Like, how much money are you saving out of your paycheck? What's the percentage of money? So that might be the first step. You could help them say, hey, in order that, like, break it down. How many paychecks is that? And how much of the percentage would you have to save that at the end of 90 days, taking just an average paycheck, what... Uh, what, where would you, you know? What's the percentage you'd have to save to get to that five hundred dollars at the end of ninety days? Figure that out, work it out, see if that's doable. If it's doable, then get with it, you know. And then help hold them accountable every week. Say, did you put your money aside? And just be on the same team with them. You know, you're rooting for them to succeed. And if that's what they're going after, then it's our job to help them get what they want. Also, when when it comes to connecting, you know, what what are some of their um, relationship goals? And I've talked about daily deposits and other videos, and that's a great way to uh, build a relationship. To every day, send them a little text message or a little video clip or an email, something nice, just saying, "Hey, hope you have a great day." depending on who you're trying to build a relationship with and just don't stop you know a lot of times we get we may not have a great relationship with somebody and when you start reaching out to them they're not going to respond necessarily right away you know it could be months that they don't respond depending on what's going on between you two but eventually with enough uh, with enough effort of trying to reconnect with this person they will respond and you'll break the ice and then it slowly will grow from there so it's important to reach out to people that you want to build a relationship with pretty much of any kind and make sure that you continue to stay on top of it don't forget to do it every day 
That's something you got to do every single day. Let them know you're thinking about them or you care about them or you love them or, or you can't wait to see them. Whatever, just a little message and eventually that relationship will grow. When it comes to You know, it could even be a spiritual goal that they have. So if they have spiritual goals like, well, I want to go to church more, or I want to, you know, the things that they want, but they find themselves making excuses instead of, and giving reasons instead of getting the results that they want, then help hold them accountable, you know? Text them Saturday night, hey, get to bed early so you can go to church in the morning. That could be something that they're really they really want but they just find themselves not disciplined enough to do it and if you can help anybody get what they want you're gonna have a great relationship with them and it, it's gonna grow and be be you know there's just a law of reciprocity which just says if I do something for you you're gonna do something for me it may not be right away and I don't want you to do these things thinking of this is what I'm gonna get back that that's a that's the wrong intention to have but I can promise you you will get it back tenfold it will come back to you so help as many people as you can when it comes to holding them accountable with their goals and getting building that relationship and maybe they want to meditate you know it might not be anything about praying or going to going to church but maybe they want to meditate more because they they've read about the benefits of meditation and, and how they can get a lot clearer, uh, get, gain some more clarity of everything within their life. And so, but they're not disciplined enough to keep, to keep doing it on a regular basis. It really helps to share these things with the people that you care about and your teammates and all that stuff because they can help hold you accountable. And when somebody holds you accountable, you're far more likely to succeed. So guys, I hope this helped. Be sure to check out HVAC Uncensored, the podcast, download it, and enjoy. We're having a lot of fun making it. And uh, also, you know, check out www.hvacserviceready. I am slowly building just a flat out, an entire like a bundle that you can get for your business to help you get to a million dollars. That's something that I feel like we've mastered um, I'm I wouldn't say easily because business is not easy but we, we we've hit a million dollars every year for the last three years and we're gonna we're definitely we're almost to a million this year already so um, our goal is two million we're, we're not definitely not gonna make it but 1.8 probably so and that's what we're headed for and that's what we're striving to hit um, so I figured a few things out. I'm, I'm not a know-it-all. I don't know every single thing that on how to do everything, but I do know how to, how to do a million dollars in a service business, especially an HVAC service business. So guys, be sure to check out www.hvacserviceready.com and check out some of those courses. I'm making them extremely affordable because I want, it, I want there to be no limitations for anybody to, to change their life by changing their business. And, you know, one more thing before I let you go is that uh, something that we kind of get sucked into as business owners that, that uh, you know, Brendan Burchard says that don't make your small business make you small-minded. And that is so powerful because we have these limiting beliefs that just keep us small. And we're afraid to do the things that have to happen to grow our business and grow ourselves. So remember that. Don't let your small business make you small-minded. And remember, when you grow, that's when your business can grow. So guys, I'll see you later. Hope you're having, hope you're having a killer end of the summer. And go make money.